Okay, hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments and it's indeed been a moment. Um, in this video, I want to show you how to solve this problem using newly released functions in Excel which are the regex, some call them regex, but regex which is short for regular expressions. These functions were recently released, I think that was like May 20th, 2024 for record purposes, you know, to the Peter channel. Uh, so many users do not have it. I only got it recently, but I felt it was important to revisit some problems we had solved in the past, which uh, were related to pattern recognition and pattern matching and seeing how, you know, regex, you know, could help us. So in this video, I'll try to solve this problem using, you know, regex, uh, but not just giving you the pattern, like picking it from the net and using it, but explaining the pattern you know so that you start to understand it a little you have opportunities to play around with it you know in python which is now available in the current channel within excel you could use a python ide jupyter notebooks you know to play around with you know regex you could use even google sheets you know to see how you know some of these patterns work okay so let's visit this problem and see you know what it's about and how to solve it okay so we have a list of united states presidents here and it says find the list of u.s presidents where any word in the name starts with b Okay, so if you look at these names that have been extracted, you can see that all of them either have a first name, a last name, or maybe the middle name starting with a B. So Buren, you know, Rutherford B. Hayes, you know, Benjamin, Lyndon Baines, Johnson, Bush, Bill, you know, so that's really what we want to do. So long as one of the names, you know, starts with a B, you know, then it's one of uh, the names that you want returned here. Okay, so we could use, you know, a regular expression to get this done and what we can use is we can basically use a regex test so let me show you the three functions you have right now okay so you have you know like regex extract so if you want to extract you know maybe the words regex replace so if you find the pattern replace it with something regex test would give you boolean you know true or false to so say yes i've tested this okay does it you know conform to this pattern if it does yes if it doesn't know which is basically saying true or false okay so what we can do is subject all these names to a regex test and it will return for us a true or false once we have a true or false you know we can feed that into a filter function which simply means filter all these names you know based on whether the test is a true or a false and that way we can get the response okay so let's do a regex test and then let's select all the names here control backspace brings you back up okay so we are here and now we go into what the pattern which we will put you know in double quotes so now we need to think about it we want to get you know any word you know which starts with what a b okay so it will start with a b right and then it could have other characters you know beside it and it could also start with a b and have nothing else in a sense like if you say rudder for b haze for example you know it could just be b on its own without any other thing something like that you know that still meets the criteria so the first thing is this within regex you have you know different things right there are sometimes you use a backslash there are sometimes you use square brackets there are sometimes you use curly braces but the first thing is you want it to break it down, you know, word by word. Okay, so that it can find, you know, where a word is, like the boundary of a word. In regex, that means a slash B. Now, the reason why it has a slash is that if you just put B, what you are saying here is maybe look for the character B. Okay, but when you now want to use it, it's just like in Excel when you have wildcards, you know, and you say, if I'm looking for an asterisk now, if I just type asterisk there, you know, it has a special meaning so if i wanted to look for the character asterisk now i may say tilde asterisk you know so it knows that i'm literally looking for an asterisk so if you just type b it's looking for the character b but when you say slash b it means you know this is a word i want you to look at it you know word by word okay so now for that word what's the first thing that you know the first thing you know is that it starts with a b okay now i'm assuming here that it's a capital b right so like in this case you know buren so it starts with a b now we know that we are going to have other characters following it which if you look at the convention that we've used here they are all in lower case but it means that it could be a it could be b it could be c we don't know but we know that it could be anything from a to z so when you have a list of characters that you want it to match right you could put them in square brackets and you could write something like this a to z what does this mean this means that your pattern is looking for a word it starts with a capital b and it has you know a character between a to z following now if you do a plus 
what does this mean it means that yes you have a character between a to z and it can occur you know multiple times one or more times okay so like in this case buren now right you will be matched but because of the plus you can see yes there's a u there's an r there's an e there's an n okay so that's the meaning of the plus if you also know the exact number of times it happens let's say every word here was five you know letters it means after taking a b you know then everything there will be four you could put it in curly braces this way but now you can decide and say oh let's use you know a plus okay so meaning that it starts with a b it has other characters that occur multiple times right and maybe to you you feel this is good enough and you say okay close the bracket and basically that's your pattern all right so let's see let's put a filter here and then return the ones that are true so do a filter and then select the names put a comma control backspace we'll close our bracket okay good so now we have a couple of names but we are missing when you look at this list here right this list seems to have two more names than mine okay so i've been able to return you know those that start with a capital b you know u r e n the same thing here and all of that so what do you think is wrong here now let's go back to the pattern the pattern says that after the b you have a to z you know so it starts with a b and then it has other characters between a to z that occur at least once but if you look at this name rudaford b hayes right in this case you know the b does not have an a to z following it right so it means that it's possible that the a to z is there or the a to z is not there so it means you know it may be there it may not be there so if you use a plus plus assumes that it must occur at least one time okay so you don't use a plus you can use an asterisk which says that you know like zero or more okay so in this case it would then see something like b sitting on its own which means that there's a b and it may or may not have other characters added to it so let's see if this changes anything okay so we do enter now you will see that we've gotten one we've gotten lyndon b johnson okay but we did not get rudaford b hayes why is that let's come to the original list the original list has rudaford b hayes but i you know was too clever for myself so i decided to change that b to what to lowercase so because i changed it to lowercase but when you look at my regex my regex uses a what a capital b so for that reason it's not going to find this one here so there are two ways to solve it let me show you the difficult way and then the easy way the difficult way is instead of saying here that it must start with a capital b you could say it may start with a lowercase b or an uppercase b so you can open a bracket when you have like multiple characters to match so i can say small b big b okay so it means it starts with either a small b or a big b and then it has characters following it so let's see if this one works okay so you see now we get rudaford b hayes but if we didn't want to do that we could undo and what we can do is we use the last argument sorry of the regex here case sensitivity and we say case insensitive so that way lowercase b and uppercase b will be treated the same way and you do one here and then we do enter and you see that we have you know all the names okay so regex isn't well in some cases too difficult you know once you kind of understand what's going on here and i'll break it down again the slash b here is saying it's looking at it as if it's a word and then you know start up with a b right and then the b has characters somewhere between a to z which we don't know you know because i cannot say what the name will look like so i know it's somewhere between a to z and it occurs either zero or multiple times that's why i use an asterisk if you use a plus it means it must have you know an alphabet between a to z beside it okay and then once you do that you have your pattern this one is case insensitive so that capital b uppercase b will be the same and then you are fine so that's how to solve it using regex i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know please hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments for now i'm out